Thank you for visiting Utique Lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to go in more detail of how I sewed the concealed button placket and the collar for my sleeveless chambray blouse. Let's get started on the concealed button placket. I created a button placket pattern and you can find that in the link below. My pattern was made so you can add it on to a commercial pattern to create the concealed button placket. So once the fashion fabric is cut out, I will lay the pattern back onto the fabric and pin. I will fold up the pink line, which is the center line, and thread trace along the edge of the paper. Once complete, the thread will represent the center line. And here I'm just moving all the pins to the center line. At this point, using the chalk, I'm transferring all the folding lines onto the fabric. Now all the lines are on the fashion fabric and flip it over to the back side and iron on the interfacing. Flip it over to the right side of the fabric, fold under the first folding line and press. Fold forward the next folding line and press. Fold under the next folding line and press. Now open up the placket and pin down the center. Sew down the center and remove the pins. Refold at the stitch line and press. I now have the concealed placket. Using the commercial pattern, I had transferred the markings for the button slits and the button placements onto the fashion fabric. And I love that my sewing machine has an automatic buttonhole maker which made this process quick and easy. When all the buttonholes were completed, I just used my scissors and cut the slits open. You can also use a seam ripper for this process as well. Next, I would just coat it with the fray check to prevent the threads from getting loose. Then I will sew on the buttons at the markings. And when complete, all the slits should line up with the buttons. To ensure that the placket lays nicely down, I sew it together in between the buttons. And now I have a concealed button placket. And now we're going to start on my shirt collar. Since two of each has been cut, I'm going to set aside one collar and one collar band. Here I've already cut the interfacing, so I'm going to iron it onto each piece. Now taking the two pieces of the collar, here's the one with interfacing. I'm going to take the one without interfacing, and with the right sides of the fabric facing each other, I'm going to sew along the outer edge. When it is sewn together, I'm going to clip the corner edges so that it won't bulk up at the corners when flipped inside out. Here I'm using my point turner to get a sharp clean point. And now I'm going to press for a clean professional finish. Next I'm going to edge stitch the outer edge. Now I'm going to take the collar band that's not interfaced and base stitch 5 eighths along the edge. I will fold it up at the stitch and iron. I will now trim off a quarter of an inch. Now take the collar with the side that's not interfaced. Now with the right sides of the fabric facing each other, lay it on top of the collar band that is interfaced. And pin. Lay the folded collar band on top. And here I'm taking the pins from underneath and just repinning it all together. Starting at the marking, I'm going to sew it 5 eighths around the collar band. I will be cutting slits along the curves so that when it's flipped inside out, it would have a smooth curve. Now with the right sides of the fabric facing each other, I'm going to attach the collar band that's not folded up and pin it to the shirt. Then I will stitch it together at 5 8 inch seam. The collar band that is folded up will now lay nicely over the seam and at this point I will hand stitch it together.
Now I'm going to edge stitch all the way around the collar band. I will finish it off with a buttonhole and a button and I am complete. Feel free to watch the video where I sew the whole chambray sleeveless shirt and all the outfits I put together for this blouse. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for future videos. Well, I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary.